You're still the middleweight champion. You have successfully defended your title, but we were sitting octagon side, and at the end of the fight, it sounded like you were telling us you gave yourself like a six and a half or a seven. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, about a seven out of ten. Um, we, uh, we had to kind of like take it round by round because we expected him when he was down to push a little bit more like he did in the first fight, but he was still kind of trying to lure us. So there's times you'd see he circle the cage and I'd, I'd track him down, but I'd be like, I know what you're doing. And I even said to him at one point, I was like, that's my move. <laughs> so then I came back to the center and yeah, it's just, it was a chess match. And um, yeah, we won. Checkmate. You certainly did. In comparison to that first fight, for you, what were the bigger hurdles in this one? Patience. Like I said, all week practicing patience. So there was times I, I just had to listen to my coaches on this one. I didn't call an audible like last time. I was just like, okay, listen to what they're saying. Pick them apart because he wanted us a foot closer. And that's his range that he could definitely touch us. And I, I wanted to be a little. There's times I wanted to push, but I just had to listen to my corner and just pull back a bit. So like I said, um, this was a, a physical chess match. And yeah, I have to be smarter on this one. Tell me about the attack to his legs. Was that part of the game plan going into this one? Because after round one, he even said to his corner, man, he's getting me there. Yeah, because um, um, he's always heavy on that front leg. So um, I was going to do it later on. I wasn't going to kick him straight away because I knew he would try and pick it and take me down. Um, but I was welcoming it. Um, but then, yeah, when I realized he was hurt with it, I was like, huh, that was only the second one and he's hurt. Um, so he was super tentative and defensive with it. And I wasn't able to get it as often as I could because he realized by letting me touch that leg. You mentioned the takedowns. You stuffed so many of them. When he did get you down, you popped right back up. For you, do you feel like you're proving a point when you're doing that? Yeah, I mean, it's not as easy as it looks, or it's not as easy. It's easier said than done. Um, and even off my back, I was able to get back up. I was never really worried. Um, even with the rear naked, we've been, <laughs> 9 a.m., we're always, like, drilling those moves. So I was never really um, in danger in that fight. And I was just calm and relaxed and, yeah. You were so calm and relaxed that it seemed like you had your lips sealed shut. You never were breathing through your mouth. You were so patient. Is that something you're actually working on for your game? Yeah, um, Dave Wood from Auckland, New Zealand, or um, Piha in um, Auckland. He, um, he's my breath work coach. So I don't, breathing, once you, once you take the red pill on how to breathe, you, you see, you, like, you realize you've been breathing like messed up the whole time. So. Yeah, he's kind of got me learning how to breathe properly and perform to my optimum and even recover better. So, yeah, uh, I didn't open my mouth and mouth breathe. And I was looking at him after the first round. He was just mouth breathing and, and yeah, huffing and puffing. Yeah. Well, before I let you go, Israel, I mean, I want you to be able to celebrate this victory. But for champions, we're always asking, what's next? Who's next? Jared Cannonier got in there and he voiced his opinion. Would you agree with what he said? Yeah, I think so. Um, but like I said, it's not just about me, it's about my team. But I think they'll agree Jared is next. And I like fresh meat. So I even said to him after the wins, I was like, please take this guy out so I can get some fresh meat. So, yeah, I'm a man of my word. Excellent. Well, it was nice to see you and Robert Whitaker have a moment in the octagon after that fight. I don't like him, but I respect him. And he said the same thing. I mean, yeah. So we respect each other. Yeah, we respect each other. But I said, I mean, he's up there in the division. I mean, me and him are set apart from everyone else. So I said I might see him again, but we'll see. We'll see. Excellent. Well, congratulations on this one. Go celebrate. We appreciate your time. Beautiful performance as always. <laughs> that was a celebration. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.